Good morning, everyone. Uh, so, I saw a... <laughs> I guess all these videos are just inspired by the thoughts and and communication and showing of someone else in, in different ways. So, the one thing I've been seeing is at the end of times. Isn't Okay, I don't believe in the end of times. I believe in the end of something and the beginning of something new. Hopefully better, right? Yes. So I'm, I'm tired of that. Ugh, just, just shut up. <laughs> I want to hear it, okay? That reminds me of the time when 1999 and he switched over to 2000 and they were warning everybody, everything's going to go down the hill because we're, we haven't figured out how to, and people went out and they bought all that food, including me, $600 worth of canned food and water and I don't know what this six hundred dollars worth I was suckered into that and then nothing happened it went no glitch no nothing it went as smooth as butter right I had all that food well I was suckered in wait 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 they weren't done oh it wasn't from 1999 to 2000 it's from 2000 to 2001 I'm going you guys, you really think you're going to have me twice like that? I hibernate in the wintertime. I really do. I, I've always hibernated in the wintertime, even as a child. Okay. Okay. I hibernated all year long as a child in my books. <laughs> That's just what I did. I loved it. I was, I didn't want to be bothered by friends coming over or having to go to a friend's house, which I did too, but it was like, ugh, let this just pass. <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, God. Ugh. <clears throat> people are just different, okay? So there it is. Uh, people complain about having not enough friends, not making friends, you know? And uh, as a child, I'm talking about as a child. Now, here I am. I complained about too many people being interested in me. I didn't want interested in me. And no, okay, all right. So I have to, just because it's a, it's something that's expected. Okay, you have to look normal. All right, what's normal? Okay, yeah, what's normal? I don't think to this day that people, human beings, actually have figured out how to live according to the beginning of the Bible. It's, as I said, hibernating. I hibernate in the wintertime. I love just not doing anything. Then spring cleaning comes up. You know, it's kind of spring cleaning. This is starting to be spring clean. And it's a good thing to do that. You kind of clean out things. This, that. Clean things up really good, you know, for the coming, for, you know, for the rest of the year. And that's, I, I always thought that was a good thing. It's always, it's a good thing in everyone's life to do that. I don't feel like it at all. Not yet. I'm going, I don't know. Also, somehow this year the bug to garden hasn't hit me yet either. Oh, there's some reasons for that, but ah, pfft, why? And it's probably the one year I really, really, really should, right? Yes. Anyway, so uh, let's see. Go to go back to the post that I saw where there is a call to arms now uh, a lot of uh, soldiers are being called up to uh, i guess to go to the ukraine to snat and it was the whole thing of let's pray for them and and the whole thing of they have to leave their children behind and they might not see them again and you know my immediate kind of thing is oh yeah so how is that my problem that you're willing to do that as a father or a mother. Oh, but then, of course, yeah, I get it. It's not, yeah, all right. Why are we, why do we, why does anyone go to another continent, another country, then what there would be good to defend this and that for intruders with bad intentions? Why, why do we as a country have to go somewhere else and mess in someone else's business? I see so many posts where stick with your own business and don't mess in someone else's business because you don't know what they're going through this. And then I'm going, well, doesn't that kind of go for then 
everyone else's community, tribe or community or uh, nations or the uh, continent? Why do our soldiers have to go over to the Ukraine with the thought of, uh, according to this book, to never return, which most likely is true. They're going for a slaughter. They're, the Russians are ready for no matter what. We're not, okay? And I think every place, including if you want to take the example of Russia and the Ukraine, they're going to have to figure things out on their own. And the Ukrainian president strikes me as a person that says, stay out of it. We'll, we'll figure this out. Don't start a whole bunch of hullabaloo because that just raises the tensions, right? That's what he said. The Ukrainian president said that himself. Maybe it is time for just, yep, and that part of the world, for either they're going to get invaded, they're going to be under the Russians then, this, that, I don't know what, or right, maybe we are at a time in this world where if one just steps back and says, I'm not, no, I'm not going to, I'm laying down my arms. Why do Americans have to go over there? I'm not getting it. And as I said, then you have to, you, you, you're supposed to, as someone that's not in the military, which I'm not going to go to the military, no. Oh, so you don't care if. Okay, well, one can look at it that way. One has to start taking a stance somewhere and say, no, I'm not going to pick up a weapon to destroy another human being. I'm just not going to do it. And if there are enough out there that want to come and destroy my life for one reason or another, okay, be my guest then. My whole family, all my grandchildren, my children, my grandchildren, all of my family. All right, I annihilate them then. What do you think? You really think that the continuous just desire and willingness as commoners to go to war and pick up a gun or whatever to fight against other people, oh, well, we're defending them, is going to ever make a change in this world? It's not. It hasn't. Hasn't thousands and thousands and tens of thousands of years not taught us anything? Nothing at all. This post was so disturbing to me. Reading all through, and I know it was well meant, this snap, but it was disturbing. No, this is not how we're supposed to live. If all commoners all around the world, and I guarantee you they're all on the same page, just say, no, we're not playing your war games anymore. We're done. Head bang against each other on your own. Let the presidents either talk it out or, I don't know, take it to a fist fight or something. I don't know. Then let them do that. Sadly, the administration that we have now has created so much bad vibes everywhere. Everywhere. Canada, Mexico, even more so. Anything. anything. It's, it's so sad. It's just so sad. So no, I'm telling everyone, no, I'm not supporting you going nowhere. If you get the call, say, I'm sick. I've got COVID. <laughs> it's a good excuse. I'm not. I'm not going to pick up that gun for no one and no, I'm not going nowhere. I'm staying right here. I'm going to keep taking care of my family. I'm hibernating. Taking care of my own family. I've got children. I'm not going to go and risk my life out there. I'm not going to do that. What's the, all this, that's the other thing, dude, ally stuff around the world. Well, it's good and bad. Good and bad for whom? It's all bad. There's nothing good to be had with any of it. How is that so difficult to understand? And why is it that leaders continuously to this day are so willing to just send their men and women out there, men usually, now women more so, out there to get killed? For what? For what? What is it? More power? 
Greed for power. Greed for power. Right? Greed for dominance. Right? Greed for control. Right? Sadly, it's that is a is yeah yeah. How can that's winter time? For many people, it's difficult to get to work. But if you don't get to work in the snow and the ice, and the snow, you're going to lose your job. I mean, God forbid you miss that one customer that comes in and spends 10 bucks in a retail store, for example. I remember how I tried to get to work because I had to get to work. Because if I don't go to work, because I wasn't on a salary per se, I was on hourly wage. If I don't go to work, I'm not making any money, then I can't pay my bills. So I tried every which way to get to work in very dangerous weather. Stupid, just stupid. Then, you know, when you call in and say, hey, I, I'm i not, I, I'll, risk, I'll risk my life. I could get killed, my car destroyed. And then what about my you know, last child here? I'm still raising this snad, which was my youngest one. I'm not taking the chance of them being feel, feel being kind of oh so you can't come in well not you know what you make the right decision you stay home we're good here in this weather who's going to show up this and that anyway we should just close the store and keep everybody safe no it wasn't like that not one job I ever worked for was it like that and I did take the chances. And I did. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe on how protected, again, I was by spirit world and God to make it home, to get to work, to make it home, this and that. I mean, insane. Hmm? Insane. Insanely wonderful and grateful. Right. Oh, well, but then that works forever. No, no. As human beings, we should start taking responsibility for the life that we should be living, which is for the goodness of everyone, for the safety of everyone. Oh, well, but no, no, not look at it in that distorted, negative way of thinking that if you take the life of another human being, regardless, that then you're going to be more safe. It doesn't work that way according to the principles of creation or the principles of love. According to God's point of view, it doesn't work that way. So we have to start changing. So here I am. Right? Yeah, no, not going to support you by going somewhere to fight for the freedom of someone else. Not going to do that. Please stay home. Have COVID. Be sick. Say, I have children. I can't go anywhere. I'm not going to go and do that. Let the rest of the world, we have enough to deal with here in this country. Let the rest of the world figure out what they need to do to have peace. Let them figure it out. I'm, I don't want to be a part of that. I just don't. Again, I'm not going to be popular with my point of view. I'm not going to be... You know, and, ah, she's got the point. This, oh, this, 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 I'm not one of those people, am I? Yeah. Well, peace does not seem to be something that people really are after. It'd be too boring, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? So many people operate on disasters. The love for disasters. The love for conflict. The love for more power. The greed for more power. More control. How do you do that? You manipulate the little people. You manipulate the commoners. Right? Yes. You won't have electricity. You won't have the internet. Right? Yes? I saw another good one about AIs and I'm going, we already have so many AIs. Yeah. You can, you don't have to wash dishes anymore. You got a dishwasher. You don't have to wash your own clothes. You got a, wa uh, a washer and a dryer. Right. 
hey, I don't have to make my own coffee. I got a coffee machine. It's already, the coffee already comes ground. The snack. There are so many other things, right? Yes, yeah, vacuum cleaner. <laughs> okay, I still have to. Yeah. Oh, no, no, there's those little ones. Don't you? They just cruise around. They don't really do any good, though, really, when it comes down to it. Uh, they clean an already clean floor. <laughs> But people think we need more. Well, then what are we going to do? Oh, hibernate all year long. Ah, not a bad idea. All right. Well, anyway, so this is what I have to share today. Um, I want our men and women not to go to war. I want them all to say, nope, mm -mm, no, there's enough damage already been done for I don't know how many thousands of years when it comes to that. We're staying home. Let the presidents headbang and shoot at each other. How is that? Yeah, 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 yeah. How about our president? Let them go over there and you know, hang out with Putin and the, the Ukrainian president. Yeah, and uh, we'll see who wins the war, right? Yes, yeah. why not? Why can't we do that? Why not? Because when it comes down to it, even if the wind is howling out there and it is below, I don't know what, freezing, this, that, and your power goes out, you're expecting someone to go out, a human being to go out there and fix it for you rather than be ready and say, let the storm pass. Then when things are calmed down again, we get it fixed up, then that's great. No, people want them to be out there, right? Just like risking their lives. And the freezing cold or the pouring rain or danger other dangerous weather. Yeah? Really, really hot weather can also be very dangerous to workers out there. Right? Yet, in order to have your comforts, you're willing to risk other people's lives. Because that's what we want. Yes? Yeah. Hmm. Let the storm pass and do nothing. And then see. If some mediation is necessary, if there's any involvement necessary, when it comes to communicating, communicating for the better of everyone around the world, rather than picking up arms and start shooting at each other. The solution isn't that far off to be had. It's just a change of thought, heart to mind. Change of thought, God's point of view is needed. God's love and blessings always. We'll talk to you another time.